Hello, it's me, Spike, and my wife behind the camera. And we we just got a new we just got a new stroller. We were in Key West uh, back in October, and we had a small one. Uh, my sister had uh, one for her dog, and we got one just like it. And it had little tiny wheels, and it was just a little bit small because Spike is kind of long. He's he's not a dachshund, but some people think he's a dachshund. He's a, a Chihuahua Beagle. So I, I went on uh, Amazon, I found this stroller, it's a bit bigger, and it has nice big rolling wheels. So let's just take a look and see what it looks like. Get my exercise for the day. Dalmatian. Yes, this is the Dalmatian one. Okay. Well, there we go. Let's. Spike sees all this cardboard. It gets him a little, a little terrified. I think. He never knows what, what we're gonna get for him. So let's see. Take that with that off the camera. Okay. Here's the little pad that goes in. It's spotted like a Dalmatian. One of the wheels. It says they're quick detach too. So we'll find out about that in a second. You have to fill them with air, right? They have tubes. They... No, these are... Um, probably uh, not solid, but they're... They look, you don't, there's no air, uh, place to put air in them. They so don't need air put in them, they're just, what they are is what they are. Okay. A little more plastic bag there. Okay, well, here it is, let's see, we're getting closer to it. Okay, this wheel's different, so I'm going to assume that's the front wheel. See. <laughs> so there it is out of the box and it looks like it's pretty much ready to go with the addition of the wheels. Instructions here, pictures and stuff. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is spread the canopy part, apply the brake, pushing down with the toe. Step here. Okay, that's how to open it. Okay, so let's see the wheel assembly. I need this right here, and the wheels just go on to it. Got to open in there, and it's got a little cotter pin here. It looks like that locks it on. There's a little, a little gap right here. So when that wheel goes on, this pin right here holds it in place, and these teeth on it engage with this, which is the brake. So when this right here is in that notch is on the wheel, the wheel won't spin. See when it goes together is that little notch here and that clip. Just push it in place. And since you have to be able to get to that to the rear, it has to be behind it. There's some little push buttons here. There we go. It's a tight fit. I thought it would just slide in there, but okay, there we go. Alright, you just have to. There 
yeah. Okay. So that's that. Now the front wheels. Front wheel. It looks like it has a lock right here too. So then you pull that down and then it pivots. Or you can push it like that. Locks it in place. And these little plungers right here, they line up with this when you put it on. It's got a little ridge here. And that pushes that plunger in as you put it on. this some of the reviews said that this was hard to operate so you gotta squeeze it got that. and then uh, let's see what else we got it's got a large storage compartment on it right here you can just lift that up as long as the dog's not there of course but, all right, well here it's assembled, and you can see it rolls nice. It's got the front wheel that pivots. Actually, I have it locked right now, I think. Yeah, this front wheel gets locked, or you can slide this down and push it sideways. This little pin right here. Like that, so it's, it's locked over there. And now the front wheel pivots. So, if you're, if you're pushing it, you can go like that, or if you're, I guess if you're running and jogging and you don't want that wheel flopping around, you can lock it in place. So this is it. It's got a tether on the inside, a little, little strap. Be good for a small dog, not a, not a big strong dog, I don't think. And it, actually, it has another point over here. There's two of those in, uh, attachment points. There's a D-ring on this side and a strap on this side. The front comes down, it clicks into place, got a ventilated on the top and the dog can look out they can look frontwards it has a rear window they can look out the back to open it some of the reviews said it was hard to open you have to just kind of put your hand back there and push that button it is kind of tough but it's doable and then to fold it on the back there's a little slider right here so you bring it to the right Pulling it to the right, you squeeze this little little thing right here, and you just twist it, and it folds up like that. It's not the smallest when it folds, but it does get a little smaller. So that's it folded, and to open it back up, you would just you just lay it down and pick it up like that. And it locks back into place. And let's see, what else? Anything else? What do you think about the quality? Because we had the same brand, mm -hmm. but it was just a little bit smaller. And we gave it to our daughter yeah. because she used it for her cats. She would take a cat outside in it, of course, with the top down and latch, and it works great for yeah. that. But what do you think of the quality? So far, it looks good. The wheels, they're nice and tight when I put them on. They're doesn't feel bad. Uh, time will tell about the cloth here. Yeah, some people but it, complained about that, but I mean, it looked from what I've seen, it looks nice and sewed well. I think the quality in the other one was great. We just gave it to our daughter because she could use it and wanted something just a little bigger for Spike. 
Okay, this it also came with a rain cover. But to put the rain cover on, you have to take this off. The drink holder. And you pass the rain cover, it's got a, a big front bottom and it's got a top part. So you bring it through here like this. You can put the rain cover over the front and then down. Oops, did it wrong? It goes around it like that. There we go. All the way around it. And this comes down to the bottom. And then you bring the top through the handle like this. There it is. And then you just have to kind of get it to line up right. That. And this comes down here. And it's got a little Velcro edge. You just take it like that and you attach it. And then you can put your, your drink caddy back on it. But uh, I guess the rain cover might come in handy. We'll take it with us, but it doesn't take much space to store, so that is nice. So there we go, that's the rain cover. So here's the model. It's a little pricier than the smaller one, mm -hmm. but I think you get a lot more for it. You get bigger wheels which are nice and I like the way the front one pivots I think it'll be easier to steer it and it comes with that nice cushion and the rain cover I don't know how much we'll use it mm -hmm. and it's bigger it's I think it's great probably a good quality stroller yeah it's gonna be nice I'm looking forward to using it yeah. it makes it a whole lot easier to travel and sightsee with a pet yes yeah, because it gets their feet off the ground. People don't step on them. And plus, if the sidewalk's hot, you don't have to worry about them burning right. their feet. And they don't get tired because we walk a lot in Key West. Yeah, we walk a lot. And you can carry a lot of your own gear in there. Which is nice. Yeah, you can put your purse in, the, in the, actually in the stroller compartment with a spike. You could keep an eye on it. <laughs> yeah, spike the guard dog. Mm -hmm. He says, just don't take my food, please. So there we go, the pet gear stroller. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down, but just let me know why you didn't like it. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye. Okay.